What up fam, it's your boy Rock coming at you with another video and today we're gonna go ahead and review the Ultra Boost 3.0s. By the way guys, before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a card over here if you guys do wanna see an on feet or detailed shots on the burgundies and of course the mystery reds. If you guys don't see the cards, then I'll go ahead and link them in the description down below. So let's go ahead and talk about the brand new 3.0s and see what's new, what's different, and what does it have to offer. So with the brand new 3.0s, we still have the famous Ultra Boost silhouette. Now, in terms of the silhouette, nothing really has been changed other than just the small details on it. So one of the major differences on this 3.0 is of course the prime knit upper. Now this prime knit is equipped with a new aesthetics. So if you guys take a closer look on it, um, most of the design here is going to be based on two concepts. So one of them being of course, as you guys can see right over here, the majority of the shoe is gonna have like these little stripes going from the bottom to the top of the shoe, and of course around the shoe as well. And secondly, they break up the pattern when it comes to the toe box right over here, over to the tongue as well, and of course closer to the heel, which, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like mini, mini circles. I know it's a little bit hard to showcase this on this colorway here because it just, everything kind of blends all together, but in upcoming colorways, you're gonna see the pattern break up a lot more easier. You see the white accents that you do see right here, it's actually raised. Uh, as opposed to the burgundy that you do see on the prime knit. And that you could actually see in almost every single new pair that is gonna be coming out. Over on the toe box, you do not get those perforated holes that you do see on the 1.0s and 2.0s. So no longer will you be able to see your sock through your prime knit because over here there is no holes on here. But the most important change on these guys is it's highly flexible now. So as you guys can see, like I could really take this and really stretch it out as opposed to like, let's say the 1.0 knit where it's a little bit less flexible as opposed to the 3.0s. So the thing that's gonna be missing about the 3.0s is it's going to miss that lockdown that you're so accustomed to from the Ultra Boost 1.0 and 2.0. Um, with this being so much more flexible, you have a lot more room, more space in your shoe, thus, changing the fit of the shoe itself. So no longer do we have to go up half a size from your true to size. When it comes to the Ultra Boost 1.0s, I would have to go up half a size. Same thing when it comes to the Ultra Boost 2.0s. I would have to go up half a size. But when it comes to the Ultra Boost 3.0s, I could go true to size. I actually got this in an eight and a half, which is my regular Ultra Boost size and I got this in a nine and a half women's, which is a equivalent size to a size eight in men's. After rocking both pairs, I wanna say you wanna go true to size when it comes to the 3.0s. The only major difference between these two is I'm gonna have more toe space when it comes to this one, as opposed to the true to size one. Now, if you guys are looking for a really snug fit, you could actually go down half a size. So for me, being a true to size eight, I could actually go ahead and try to get a seven and a half, which I might think I might end up doing if I do decide to get a 3.0 as a running shoe. Now let's go ahead and talk about the cages. The cages here are a bit different. No longer is it gonna be that really hard plastic. It's gonna be more of a translucent, kind of a uh, rubbery-like plastic material. Now, one thing that I did find out when relacing these was that when the laces go through these holes right here through the eyelets, it feels really nice and smooth. The other thing I do wanna talk about is the collar as well. The collar here has much of a wider collar, so it's a lot more easier to put your foot in as opposed to the 1.0s or 2.0s. So I do have a 1.0 right here versus the 3.0. As you can see, the collar is a lot more wider versus this one here. So like I said, it's gonna be a lot more easier to put your foot in. Now the heel counters stay the same except for the women pairs. They do have an aesthetic change to them where they kind of have like a marble effect on here. We're also gonna see some other designs on the heel counters here like the upcoming military greens where it has a mesh outline. So other than the new primant upper, the new cages, the wider collar, and aesthetic designs on the heel counter, this is still the Ultra Boost that we all know and fell in love with. Just a little bit more comfortable, which is crazy to say because they just made the most comfortable shoe even more comfortable. So if you guys are trying to find the most comfortable shoe out there and aesthetically pleasing, now is your time to get one. 
Now, as much as I love the 3.0s already, casually, I think this is gonna be the best shoe ever. But if we're looking as a running shoe, that's where my opinions change. Now, I can't really say that this is gonna be my final opinion when it comes to these guys here, just because I have never ran in these yet. But I could already tell with the new Prime and Upper and how flexible it is, I don't get that same support and lockdown that I do get in the 1.0s and 2.0s. So when I do run, I don't want to feel like my foot is moving around within the shoe. I'm pretty sure one day I'm going to go ahead and cop one of these and use them as a running shoe because guys, it's still a running shoe. But for now, this is how I feel about them. And Adidas, if you're watching this, go ahead and throw your boy a pair. I wouldn't mind reviewing this for those runners out there. And there you guys have it. That does it for my review on the Ultra Boost 3.0s. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the new 3.0s. Anyways guys, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit me up with a thumbs up. Share this video with other Adidas fans, Ultra Boost fans, Boost heads out there. I think they're gonna really enjoy this video. Feel free to follow me on all my social media accounts. I'll go ahead and link them down in the description. And if you guys are new to my channel and you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see more content just like this. Especially when it comes to the 3.0s. And uh, guys, uh, I suggest you do so because uh, I have another one coming on its way. And trust me, it's gonna be good. But always guys, keep it cool, keep it fresh, keep it positive. But whatever you guys do, don't forget to boost your life and Rocky Cozy. It's your boy Rai, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Seriously though, Adidas, let me know. Email me. I got you, fam.